Are there any geeks in the house? <laughs> Brothers and sisters! Ed, let's go! I am a geek. I know you can't tell. Glasses, double denim, orange. Whew. It's hard, it's hard. I know, I know. First front, sorry, sorry. Well, yeah, yep, I've been a geek for a long time, 38 years. Uh, geeks have had a hard time in the press, stereotyped. Adrian Mole, anybody remember Adrian Mole? Yeah. Anybody know Ben Tester? Yeah. yeah, give him some shit next time you see him. Uh, but we've had a rough old time, and it was really hard growing up because it was around about the time of computers first really took off, you know, and we used to have Chucky Egg tournaments in the library. They were fucking epic. But all the cool kids would be out the back with smoking, talking to the girls. We just we kind of lost out on that a little bit. I'm kind of shaped by my obsessions. Growing up in the 80s, Saturday morning cartoons, Star Wars, Garfield, Star Wars games, the Muppets, Star Wars comics. There's a little link there. Kind of like Star Wars a little bit. And, uh, oh, so, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, geek-wise, kind of left us open to being bullied a little bit. I was bullied during comp school. Comp school was horrible. It's like bullies kind of pick out geeks, like, so like, like bees attracted by pollen, you know? They'd find us, they'd wedge us, it hurt. It's okay, it's okay, there's a third, there's a third act redemption coming soon, it'll be okay. But now, there's fucking geeks everywhere. They are fucking everywhere, and it kind of pisses me off a little bit. It's geeks for everything. Kiss geeks, Hobbit geeks, Tolkien geeks, Transformer geeks, food geeks, beer geeks. Fuck off. Right? I was a geek before it was cool. We've even got our own day. Do you know? July the 13th, embrace your geekness day. I didn't know shit, but look what they're using to stereotype it. Star Wars, win. Glasses, win. I have never worn a dicky bow in my life. Fancy dress, it's cosplay now. I love that. Look how he's getting his kid involved. There's some serious time gone into that fancy dress. Because there's one rule with cosplay and fancy dress, go hard or go home. Don't go cheap. Do you know what that one is in the top right? Do you? Fucking Robocop. Robocop. Look at the Ninja Turtles. Put some fucking effort into it, man. Being a geek is all about expressing your passions and your obsessions. And we kind of do that without t-shirts now, right? Um, MacGyver, I live my life, I make, you know, WWMD, what would MacGyver do? Yeah, live that. Tattoos, they the ultimate heart on your sleeve for geeks. Look at that Gonzo one. Yeah, it's sinking. How confident have you got to be in your body proportions to wear that tattoo? You would not believe the brownie points I had to earn to get my wife to agree to get a stormtroopers come to my wedding. <laughs> Seven years later, I'm still doing the fucking dishes. <laughs> you know you've hit ultimate levels of geekness when your trainers match your notebook. <laughs> and my, what my wife does now, if she wants to get rid of me, she tells me we've been invited to a fancy dress party. The colouring pencils come out, I'm, not, I'm gone for weeks. It's brilliant. <laughs> the thing now with geek, though, is a legacy. Now, geek, my obsessions, my passions, they've shaped my life. I'm an animator. That stems from watching cartoons, loving cartoons. Um, but there's, there's lots of examples of this, right? You know, you, you see Simon Pegg, John Lasseter, you see Grace Hopper on the right. If you don't know who Grace Hopper is, look it up and look up the term bug fix, right? These are guys who loved this shit in the, in the, when they were kids. Martin Scorsese watched films and then he became a director. And now those, those kids are in positions to uh, uh, take the tech that they love from Star Trek and Star Wars. We got 3D printing, people are making replicators, they're printing out the food that they want to print out. Bones' is tricorder, we've got, we've got that, it's working. It's called the Scanadu Scout. You put it to your head, it, projects straight to your phone and tells you your temperature and your blood pressure. That's awesome. That's, what, that's a geek legacy. That's brilliant. My kids, <laughs> geeks make the best parents. Do you know what he is? Down the far left, Chucky. <laughs> he's ginger, so if ever Luke needs to cosplay as Harry Potter, he's always going to be Ron. 
Laura showed uh, an image earlier of uh, Will Wheaton from Star Trek Next Generation, Big Bang Theory, and he recorded a video not so long ago to a, uh, to a fan, uh, to a young kid, and he said, to pen it all down, it's not about what you love, it's about how you love it. And I think as a geek, that's what we need to do, is be proud of our obsessions and our passions. Just stay away from bullies. <laughs> Did you have fun? I enjoyed that, that was good. <laughs> <laughs>